Alright, so now we will be doing bechamel sauce. So bechamel sauce is basically white sauce. It's usually the one that we use for lasagna. So that uh, white creamy sauce that you put on the layer of the tomato sauce and the lasagna pasta. This is the sauce that we use. So with the be bechamel sauce, you can make lots of sauces like mornay, cream sauce, cheese sauce. So this is the very uh, foundation of those sauces. So first, we will start with our butter. So we are making blonde, uh, white roux actually. White roux meaning to say the color is white. So please do not brown your butter and your flour. So we're making our roux. This is our thickener. So turn off the heat if you feel like um, it's turning it brown. So this is always the thickener of our sauces. Why butter and roux? Okay, this is the perfect combination for a thickener and for flavor as well. So as you can see, there's a lovely color that I want. Now I have here about one and a half cup of milk. I will pour in into my sauce. Okay, half first. And then um, don't forget to always keep on stirring. This will thicken eventually because of our roux. As you can see, some of it is thickening already as it reduced down it will thicken into a white sauce. And for flavor, we have here an onion pique or pick. So basically, it's half of an onion and bay leaf. And actually, if you have whole cloves, you can put it there. But I don't have whole cloves, so, so we will just be adding uh, ground cloves for flavor. Just a little bit because you don't want to brown your sauce. Um, also, we have here some freshly ground nutmeg flavoring for our white sauce, the perfect combination and then as it starts to thicken up as you can see reduce your heat because it will overcook our dairy which is the milk so make sure that um, low lower down your heat as much as possible okay and then if you want this to become smoother you can always pass it through a sieve so that it will be smoother. Alright, let's simmer that down. Okay. Alright, the tricky thing with sauces is that it's gonna be either too loose, runny, or it's gonna be too thick. So what we're gonna do is just gonna adjust. If it's too thick, add liquid, which is stock, water, or milk. And then if it's too thin, if it's too runny, you can always adjust and add more roux, okay? So this is my bechamel sauce and I'm going to pass it through a strainer. So we'll be using a strainer to make this as smooth as possible, remove the onion pique. And then we will have our ready bechamel sauce that we can use whenever we need. Since this is dairy, normally this is also one day. Maximum of two days only before it gets spoiled. And there you have it. We have our bechamel sauce.